this is Patrick. He's the executive director of El Museo del Barrio. So, Patrick, how are you today? Fine. Good? Okay. Fine. Thank you. At El Museo. Yes. So, what does this celebration mean to you and as a community as a whole? Well, it's a tradition that comes from Mexico, Central America, and also some countries of South America. Um, it's a tradition where we remember the beloved people that passed away. And it's a tradition where we mix uh, with food in the altar. Yeah, the, tradition, the European tradition with the American tradition. So we, make, uh, we have bread, but also we made tamales with corn. Sounds and, delicious. And it's, it's a way to remember, but it's a also it's a tradition that was born during the colonial period. And, um, and talks about um, a very complex way of dealing and understanding uh, death in, this re in these cultures and in these regions of the world. So how do you think this event or um, El Dia de los Muerto in general has impacted children? Well, uh, we, we get a lot of Latino children, uh, the Day of the Dead at El Museo del Barrio, and it's an opportunity of uh, keeping alive a very strong and old tradition uh, that is uh, very special for Latinos. And, um, and it's, it's interesting because it has a, a lot of sense of humor, so uh, ch children connect in a very spontaneous um, and, and, a, and at the same time in a very complex and deep way uh, to, to the idea of, of, of the death. Or, and and um, it's also the opportunity of, of uh, bringing all these people together in a cultural uh, platform, in a cultural institution in New York. Okay. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. How do you explain death to them? It's not easy, but very often uh, it's the children who ask. Oh, yeah? the, all the questions come from them and what is death? Why did someone die? Yeah, kids are really curious. And they're quite intelligent, so it's, I think it's wrong to, to bring out a, 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 an explanation that doesn't deal with, with um, the, the fact that someone lives, uh, someone dies. And children, um, I think when there is an image and where there, when there is elements uh, like food, like, uh, like images that um, deal with with, the, with a loss of someone, I think it, it becomes easier and it, it, in, the, in general they have a very direct and spontaneous understanding. So what does this celebration mean to you? Uh, I hadn't encountered the Dia de los Muertos celebration until about like five years ago I would say, celebrating here at El Museo del Barrio. Do you have any kids? I do not. So let's say hypothetically you had kids, or how would you like teach them about death? How to handle death anyways? Well, as an educator, it does come up that you'd have to have this conversation with the young people. So you just do it at an age appropriate level, right? Like the way that they would understand probably, right? So like toddlers, you would just say, oh, they're not coming back, you know? Um, and as they get older, you would just kind of have the conversation based on, I, I would say, on the way they question you. What does the celebration mean to you? Oh, good question. Uh, it means to how do we honor the dead and is there something after this life? And how do we keep in touch with the people that we mean, mean most to us? So I guess that's the best way I can answer that question. How do you offer respect to those who have passed away? For me personally, the one way I do that is always keep them in my mind and heart and celebrate. If since they're no longer here, you probably go visit their grave or say a prayer to them, something like that. How do you explain death to children? Ooh, is this like a two hour show? Uh, <laughs> you know, you just sit down and let them know that the people that, you know, the person that they once knew is no longer here and try to do best as you possibly can to let them know that they're, even though they're not here, they're still with them in their hearts and minds. So. They're not really truly gone. How do you honor the living? How do I honor the living? By avoiding them. <laughs> no, uh, spend as much time as you possibly can with them because you never know they might not be here tomorrow. So always let them know that you love them. Spend time with them. Uh, take them to lunch, whatever it may be. So just, just appreciate the people that are in your life. Great. Thank you so much.
What does this celebration mean to you? The celebration here at El Museo, especially since it's on a Saturday when usually families are off, is a cultural and community gathering. Like people from the neighborhood, and we consider the community not only people from the neighborhood, but anyone that comes to El Museo del Barrio. So we kind of have these experiences with families to cultural celebration, this being Dia de los Muertos. What nationality are you and how do you celebrate like the Day of the Dead? Okay, so. Actually, I learned about Dia de los Muertos while working here because I'm originally from Colombia and we do not uh, mourn the dead as people do in Mexico. So it was really interesting to see how different cultures in South America or Central America or in other Spanish-speaking countries, they celebrate these, you know, kind of like parts of life, right? Because this is, people come, they die, they're reborn. It's kind of like a different outlook of how to view life.